Over the weekend, we introduced you to a gentleman from Carbon County who was looking to reunite old letters written by a Korean War veteran to his family. Within 10 minutes of our story airing, we had some answers. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace shows us the handoff of the 70-year-old treasures. Over 100 Korean War letters written 70 years ago changed hands and gave a family a piece of their history back. We couldn't believe it, you know. Because Vincent's gone for how many years already? Who would have ever thought there's Sometimes letters floating like around that. like this? You know, it, it's just amazing. It's kind of unreal. I mean, to finally to put a face to the letters. Because I never thought it was going to happen. Rodney Shoup of Weatherly had been searching for the family of Korean War vet Vincent Koenig for a week after rediscovering war letters Rodney won at an auction. That's when he reached out to Newswatch 16 to help locate Vincent's family. Soon after our original story aired, Shoup had answers. Within 10 minutes, got an email uh, stating their relatives, and I'm like, I saw the number. Didn't waste any time. I called right away. He must have been listening, you know, ready for the call too. And it just happened that we hit, you know, hit just like that. We were in, in connection, and he said he had all these letters for us. And my God, we, we couldn't believe it, you know. The next thing they knew, they were setting up a time to meet. The family from Carbon County says they're thankful that Rodney brought the precious letters home to them. It's a piece of history for our, for the for the Christman Koenig family that it would have been lost. You know, it just wouldn't have been possible if he wouldn't have found him and returned them. You know, it's a, it's a great, great fella, great guy for doing it. I was able to return something that someone lost. They didn't even know that they lost. This is for you. Go enjoy it. The family plans to split up the letters and rotate them to each of the cousins after they're read. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.